Hello, everyone. Jackie Tomlin here, and welcome to today's episode of One Spirit Speaks podcast. Hope you guys have had a super fantastic week so far as we head on out into the middle of the week and on into the weekend. Okay, guys, if you're seeking to contact me, it is JackieTomlin.com. There you will find uh, my phone number. You can text or call me. There's my email address, my WhatsApp. All of that is available to you. And tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern, live on YouTube. That is YouTube.com backslash uh, Psychic Jackie. Now, you'll hear me mention the green team. The green team is actually my membership. It is available on YouTube. You can join during the live or you can go visit the channel's homepage and hit that join button now. So love to have you over there. Those guys get a few extra readings from me each week. Okay. Um, thank you for joining me on this month's adventure. We are talking about the body, mind, and soul adventure this week. Uh, you know, it's energy. It's about your energy. Okay. Um, last week we discussed the physical body. Today we move into the mind. All right. Let's refer back to my readings. A lot of times you're going to hear me mention a lot of different things. Get out of your head. No hasteful decisions. Stop dwelling and manifest, manifest, manifest. Just to name a few. That's what you hear from me all the time. These are all related to your mindset. So when we're talking about connecting the body and the mind and the soul. Kudos to you guys with the physical body challenge. And it's not too late to start. You won't be a different person by Christmas. I got some of you messaging me. You're doing Pilates. You're doing yoga. Uh, some of y'all are doing marathons, running marathons, actually. That is wonderful. And some are doing strength training. So part of that physical part is intertwining that mindset, okay? Uh, and I know that y'all hear this term from me often. And I need you to remember it. Okay, it's very true. Where thoughts go, energy flows. Okay. You have a lot of energy to pull into you what happens to you. Okay. So yeah, add that to your physical mind challenge. Now, this does not mean that you'll be happy, go lucky. Seven days a week. It's about adjusting your perspective, how you look at things. How do you look at problems? Okay. It's training yourself to not to dwell on things and learning to let go of what you cannot control. That's that whole let go and let God. It works, folks. I want you to give it one week to try it. Manifestation, taking the mindset that you already have what you want and desire. You're coming from the abundant mindset, not the lack of. So, you know, it's... um. Oh, I have that thousand dollars I need. Okay. And not, you know, if I had, it's coming, it's just the perspective, changing the mindset. Doesn't make each day perfect, but I tell you one thing, it's going to make your day easier. Okay. And I want you to remember one thing you don't have problems, you have opportunities. Okay. It's an opportunity to learn, it's an opportunity to grow, but you don't have problems. Embrace that in your mindset as well. So that's what I have for you today on the mind. So let's take and let's incorporate what we're doing for the physical activity and incorporate it with your mindset. Meditation, yoga, Reiki, Reiki specials. I've got those going on this week, including certifications. Okay. It's your energy. It's all going to come together as one if you will just trust the process. Let me hear from you, folks. Let me hear from you. Some of y'all are really hitting this hard. I am so proud of you. You're seeing the difference. You're feeling the difference. A little challenge right here. You know, we are officially in the holiday season. There's nothing wrong with a little challenge going on, right? Uh, how many of y'all want to be a new person by uh, Christmas? Very feasible. Very feasible. Easy to obtain. Okay. And we're doing it together. It's so one thing about this with Ben Spears Speaks podcast. We are doing life together. So let me hear from you. Again, it is JackieTomlin.com. All right, gang, let's get into these messages from Spirit. We're going to run Aries through Pisces with a quick collective at the end. 
And these are going to run up through next week, I think, up through the 20th, at least. And uh, focus says, what do you need to know between the 13th and the 20th? What do you need to know? Okay. Aries, we're starting out with you. Okay. You've got some kind of aha moment coming to you. There's some kind of glow up here, some kind of confirmation of what you suspected. Very high vibration. Um, overflowing with love and gratitude. Look at you go. Someone close to you coming in as an unexpected offer of assistance. It's also time for you to express your feelings, both good and bad. Emote. You have my permission to do so. Working and gaining, some of you are looking at raises and or promotions. Want to throw out there that a Gemini may resonate with you. There is the arrival of new money like right around the corner. I don't think you're aware of this, so it's going to be quite the surprise, okay? Uh, some of you are looking at residential moves. Someone's moving in, someone's moving out. Perhaps you're decluttering, clearing out that old energy to allow for the new energy. Um... But yeah, there's movement on the home front and be warned of foolish decisions because you are getting ready to jump into something with both feet. Letting go of the negative thoughts. I love this. Some of y'all really getting into the meditation. Uh, and I think that is a wonderful thing. We have intensity and in love. I also want to throw out a Capricorn may resonate with you. Okay. You've got big changes coming up here. In about 10 to 14 days, and someone from your past is about to return. I know that extended a little bit beyond the 20th, but I am just the messenger, right? What else do we have for my Aries here? Looking at some type of ending right now. You know what happens after an ending? Well, a new beginning. Um, could be dealing with someone who's got a little bit of an ego going on or quite a bit of a show off. Um, and when it comes to love and relationships, you got to remember it takes two, it takes the effort of both of you. There is some kind of a celebration coming up, but also there's a mechanical breakdown as well. I'm not, I'm just the messenger. Don't hate me for saying it. Okay. And like I said, that confirmation, something that's going to be exposed. You are getting ready to plan an escape. You're not traveling alone, but I tell you what, it looks like there's something here in an area of your life you are looking at starting over. And if you're sitting there thinking that you'll wait till the 1st of December or you're going to wait till the 1st of January, my question is to you is why wait? Why wait? Every day is a new day and you're not promised tomorrow. So why are you waiting? That's what I have for my Aries. Now, let's move in to my Taurus. Taurus, you know, we're looking at from the 13th up through the 20th for you guys. What do we have going on for you? For whatever reason, a starfish is going to resonate with you or it's going to be a sign if you see one or see a picture of one that you're actually on the right path. Um, you need to be warned of a, a confrontation, someone lashing out at you, okay? But there's good news arriving. And you're going to be ready to celebrate. And I can also say this. This is also a time for you to move out of your comfort zone. Uh, pay attention to your dreams too. But take the time to laugh. You need to have some fun. You need to get out and have some fun. You're working and gaining. You're doing what you're supposed to. You do have a small wish that's going to be granted here. Strength is on your side no matter what you do. And your high vibration. You know what? Of course, you're happy. And I tell everybody all the time, happy is a choice and choose happy. And you're doing just that. You are leaving a negative situation and you need to expect the unexpected in a good way. Okay. You're also surrounded by a physical and emotional healing. You're coming into a new beginning. You're letting go of the old and welcoming the new. Now, Taurus, a Virgo may or may not resonate with you here. Okay. Let's see what else we have coming up here for my Taurus. Good energy going on here. You are dealing with someone with a fierce temper, okay? And the web that you've got going on or the, the drama that you're dealing with is because someone is not on the same level as you. And this person may actually be younger than you, okay? So just not the balancing out of the age and the maturity, I guess is what I'm saying, okay? Um, again, take the time to laugh. You are not drowning. 
You may feel like it, but you're not drowning. You have got to let go of your control issues. Oh, you're trying to control everything. You choose tapping. That's part of it. Well, the next part of it is letting go of control issues. That's that whole let go and let God and just live a little bit. Okay. All right. Next, we got Gemini. All right, Gemini. Okay, you need to dig for your patience. Pray, ask for exactly what you want, be specific about it, okay? You're working and gaining. You feel like you're banging your head against the wall. There will be a small wish. Brandon, someone feels that you need to apologize. The time is now. Let go of your negative thoughts. Uh, you're listening to yourself. You know what you should be doing, but you're not doing it. Okay. And we have the arrival of new money. Expect unexpected company. There is an ending here. And you need to know the strength is on your side. And if you want to crack, by all means, do so. You've got... And for some reason, some of y'all are struggling with you feel like you deserve more that you thought you'd be further in life than what you are. You're exactly where you need to be. Okay. So quit beating yourself up about wherever you are or think you are in life. Okay. Intensity and love. Little sparks flying in the uh, love life here. Leaving the negative behind. Someone around you is act acting childish. And if you confront this person, they're kind of self-righteous. So you're going to have to find the balance there. You, however, the reason you're emitting is because you've got a dark side and you're staying closed off. There's something here that pattern is repeating. It's a vicious pattern that is repeating. Well, you know, that's telling you right there, you need to do things differently. Some of it has to do with bad time out, timing. But it's you need to change things up. Wait. Blaming the universe. You are blaming everyone. I see several people around you. A Libra may or may not resonate. Um, but you're playing the blame game here. And if you're seeing a pattern and the same vicious cycle is repeating, then you need to change things. Okay. All right. Up next, we have cancer. What is going on for cancer from now to the 13th? We got a jumper here. It says, pay attention to the signs around you. Okay. Something to look forward to with my cancers. What is coming up for cancer? What do we have for now between the 20th, 13th and the 20th? You're making some travel plans. Confirmation coming up. There is going to be a confrontation. I'll be honest with you. This could be at your job. So you know. Okay. Um. You need to slow down to rethink your options, okay? Uh, there's an ending here, and if you want to cry, cry. You've got some enemies. You've got some stalkers. You've got people that are minding your business for you, okay? You are definitely dealing with an uh, earth sign, it be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You need to expect a new beginning because it's there, it's within reach, and it does show you absolutely get what you want. Getting what you want, I have to tell you, it's coming in different than your expectation. And it's going to be more than what you feel that you deserve or more than you prayed for. So more is always good. You need to let go of negative thoughts. You need to stop holding yourself back. You can be your own worst enemy. Okay. Self-sabotage. Cancer. An exit plan. You're getting ready to start over. You're going to feel a little empty, but it's okay. Don't overcomplicate things. Be warned that the person you get involved with or involved with may just be all tall. Okay. Um, but there's something here 
I'm telling you, you've got a blessing in disguise, but it's not going to feel like it. Don't get tangled in a web, particularly with somebody that is younger than you, may provoke you, may provoke your anger. Take a deep breath, walk away, be the bigger person here. Okay. Up next, we have Leo. Leo, I see you studying something. You're studying something, you're researching something, you're looking up something in a book. You know, not by, like by Google, but in an actual book. All right, let's see what we got going on for my Leos here. Leo, you got a trip out of state coming up and a new beginning, like right now. You got the arrival of new money. And what you are wanting to happen is going to happen. There's a little twist to this, okay? And the twist is it says to expect the unexpected. And what you want is going to come in a form that you weren't expecting. Okay, so you need to know. Have patience, pray, and ask for what you want. Stop holding yourself back. Um, definitely getting what you want. I'm looking at you're moving into an era of good luck and abundance and hard work paying off. Two signs that may resonate with you are going to be a Gemini and a Capricorn. And there's something here that you need to put a little bit more effort into. And spirit stopping by to visit here. Wow. That hasn't happened in quite a while. Uh, something you've been manifesting since summer is coming into fruition. And there is good news coming in that you are expecting and not expecting at the same time. So this indicates to me the news that you've been waiting for is going to come sooner than what you had anticipated. Okay. Something is going to be exposed. Um, a lot of flirting going on here. A little alcohol, so you know, be careful out there. Be warned of getting in a tangled web. You also got like a mechanical breakdown coming up. Things are up in the air, and you know, the person that you're not seeing eye to eye with, well, they're kind of mirroring you, so maybe it is a sibling, or it could be your own child that is exactly like you that you're not seeing eye to eye with at this given time. All righty. Up next, we have Virgo. We have Virgo? Yes. Let's make sure I hadn't skipped one. Virgo, we're looking at your 13th through the 20th. What is coming up for you? Some of y'all decorate for the holidays already. Virgo, someone is blaming you for something. They're playing a bit blame game. Doesn't matter, you get what you want. You're holding on to a past upset, and it says expect unexpected company. You are on top of your game, okay? And you need to let go of something and move forward. There was something that you started manifesting in summer. That's going to play a role between now and the 20th. Uh, some of you are looking at a new love or new love relationship, intensity and love. Expect a good business deal. Someone close to you comes in for an unexpected offer of assistance. And you've got good news arriving. You're listening to yourself, but you're not hearing yourself. Okay. Uh, there's someone here, too, that you need to apologize to. I got two signs standing out here. Aries and a Gemini may or may not resonate with you. Let's see what else we got going on here. You're overcomplicating things, but be warned that the person that you are romantically interested in could be all talk and have a little bit of a player energy about them, okay? Together, y'all are not a good combo. It's kind of a deadly com combination. There's some things you need to face. You are not drowning. You just got decisions that you are putting off. Why are you putting them off? Because you like to control everything. Also, let's watch some toxicity, particularly related to alcohol or someone that has an addiction. Okay? That's what we got going on for my Virgos. Don't put things off. All right. 
Up next, we got Libra. All right, we'll see what we have going on from a Libra's. Libra, this is your 13th through the 20th. 13th through the 20th. What do we have going on for you? Okay, you need to expect a new beginning. You also need to know the new beginning has come, come from a closure or an ending, and it's okay to cry and emote if you want to or scream or whatever you need to do. You're listening to yourself and what you think you should do, but you're not paying attention to it. You need to move out of your comfort zone. Being true to yourself, putting yourself first, making some travel plans. There is a need to say no. There's something you're left in behind. Um, you've got several people around you at this time. It says pay attention to the signs around you. Okay. Uh, you're overflowing with high energy and with love. And you're applying more effort to things that you want. You also need to unexpect uh, to expect unexpected company that's going to bring in good luck and abundance. And a change of residence is here. Now, some of the signs I've got are Pisces, Libra, and Gemini. But to be quite honest with you, you've got over half the Zodiac surrounding you. So it tells me there's a lot of people around you. Okay, Libra, let's see what else we got going on here. Some kind of web. You feel like you're in a tang tangled web and you're kind of remaining distant and closed off from other people. You feel that it's just bad timing and sometimes you feel like you got some false hope. Okay. Don't overcomplicate things. Stop controlling things. Uh, take some time to dream. Let go of toxicity. You are not drowning. You need to face what's going on. And someone needs your forgiveness. But they may have some roaming eyes. And they may be all talk. So just be prepared for what is coming in. All righty. A lot going on. And like I said, those are just the three signs that jump out. But for whatever reason, I see you surrounded by many people. And you know, it's going to be like that coming up because, guys, face or not, we're now in the holiday season. Okay. All right. Next, we have Scorpio. What's coming up for my Scorpios? Scorpio, something to do with matters of the heart. Some of you feel like you got a broken heart. Okay, let's see what we have here. There's an ending, and it's okay to emote. It's okay to cry. You are surrounded by physical and emotional healing. The time frame is now. Confirmation, confirmation of what you suspected is coming in. You need to apologize to someone and you're working and gaining. Matter of fact, I think most of your attention is on work. But there is a new love interest coming in. And that could be love of family, friends, whatever. Three signs jump out for you guys. Pisces, Cancer, and Aquarius. Be warned to someone that is not being very honest with you. That you're dealing with a fake person. And someone that you're separated from now. So if you're separated from someone or a situation, it is just temporary. It is just temporary. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what else we got coming up for you. You too, you need to forgive someone. That person is probably on just a lot of talk. You're both wrong. You need to take part of that. You need to own part of that. You need to stop controlling things. Um, things are very up in the air and unpredictable. Uh, you could be dealing with a public image or you perhaps you are a public image. You're getting ready to start over. Something had come out that was exposed that you were not happy about it. Well, let me tell you something. Don't give it any attention. When you start giving it attention, it becomes a thing. When you start ignoring it, people move on. Okay. So, yeah, Scorpio, it's all about 
let's go back to the beginning of the podcast is about your mindset, your mindset and you moving forward. All righty. This brings me up to my fellow Sagittarius. Seeing someone wearing the color green, someone wearing the color green is going to be significant or resonate with you some way or another. Sagittarius. You need to let go of your negative thoughts. This uh, where thoughts go, energy flows. That applies to you because it need, you need to clear your thoughts in order to clear your energy. You do have another big new beginning coming in the winter months. You are leaving the negative behind, but you also need to be, be careful about your ego. Okay. Uh, there's more than one blessing coming in. You need to be patient, pray, and ask for specifically what you want. You're getting what you want, but it's coming in a different form or it's going to supersede your expectations, actually. Be warned of foolish decisions upcoming. Be true to yourself and rethink your options. Uh, something you're ready to celebrate, making excuses, not hearing yourself. Pay attention to your dreams. Now, let me throw out a Gemini and Capricorn may resonate with you and you know what i am just the messenger but you be careful of getting in a vehicle with someone who's drinking or you drinking and driving at this time also want to throw out a um taurus virgo capricorn and earth down energy as well uh be warned that you're dealing with a fake person you're getting ready to take a trip out of state with someone it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of fun all right, let's see what else we got coming up for my fellow Sagittarius. Someone is trying to show off and win your attention. Um, the timing is not right. This person is very complicated. This person could be toxic. This person could have addiction issues. Um, this pers person that may approach you in a romantic nature is also entertaining other people. Okay. So you're not the one that they're making you out to be. Uh, you uh, This person is very two-faced and leaving things up in the air. So Sagittarius, I mean, what I got for you there, you're a fire sign. You're a fire sign. Now, I know how I would handle that. And I think you know how to handle that as well, but that's what you've got coming in. Someone to face it. That's just not going to work for Sagittarius ever. Really wasn't. Okay. Up next, we got Capricorn. Sorry about that, guys. I thought my phone was off. Okay, someone from your past returns, Capricorn. A trip out of state. Mm, someone around you is being greedy. Maybe you've offered them something, and now they come back wanting more. Okay. Uh, be warned of dealing with fake people in that aspect. Pay attention to your uh, signs around you. You're selling yourself short. I'm going to say somewhere between now and the 20th, you're going to need to tell someone no. You have a small wish being granted. You've got energies that may resonate are going to be a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, and or a Scorpio. You need to take time to laugh. There are new opportunities coming in. Expect the unexpected and expect a new beginning. There is your anger and a confrontation, but my problem here with you, Capricorn, you are forcing issues. You've got to stop this. Quit forcing issues. Just let things be. You're forcing issues. Okay. Um, someone wants your forgiveness. There's a little bit, they're like land distance between the two of you. Uh, this person may have put place you in a third party. They will continue to do so, so you know. You got uh bottled up, you need to be you need to vent to this person that they burnt you, and it's it's okay to do that. Perhaps they have a temper, and I think honestly, now they're gonna see yours. 
you are also looking for an escape. Well, let me tell you something, Capricorn. The escape you're looking for is the escape from yourself. Quit forcing issues. Relax. Let go. Do something nice for yourself. Live for today. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. All right. Up next is Aquarius for my aquas. All right, Aquarius. You're on top of your game. I mean, y'all are standing like 10 foot tall and bulletproof, honestly. <laughs> you know, you're calling someone else out. There's someone's blaming you and it's actually about their deception and lies and you're going to call out on it. Uh, you got more than one blessing coming in. Your patience is going to pay off. Someone close to you is coming in as an unexpected offer of assistance. You um, you need to clear your thoughts because your energy will clear. You got a lot of people around you too. You need to move out of your comfort zone. You're also surrounded by healing energy, both physically and emotionally. Be warned of foolish decisions. Now, some of the signs I see are Cancer, Aries, and a Libra. Pisces may or may not resonate for you guys, okay? But yeah, you are on top of your game. Um, you're feeling alone and empty, but at the same time, you don't want to be with a sneaky snake or a gold digger. You're undecided on what to do. Uh, you realize that it takes two and you're not getting the part of the two. So, yeah, I see you being true to yourself. You also have some type of a mechanical breakdown and you're starting over. Um, someone that drives a motorcycle may resonate with you and you will, may very well be dealing with a public figure or perhaps you're a public figure yourself or some of you are actually being asked to run for public office or some kind of public appearance there. Okay. But everything looks really well. Lots of people going on. Like I said, you're on top of your game right now. Up next, I have Pisces. Last but not least, right? Pisces. First thing I hear is you know better. You know better. Okay. So take that as it resonates. You've got intensity and love. Uh, could be involved some traveling. It says you're being true to yourself, putting yourself first. Pay attention to your dreams and expect some unexpected company. And you need to know it's okay to cry when you want to. And you need to take the time to laugh. Very high energy, overflowing with high energy and overflowing with love. Pause and rethink your options. And we have a new beginning coming up. You need to move out of your comfort zone and let go of your ego. Someone close to you is coming in as an unexpected offer of help. And you also have someone from your past is about to return. You're leaving the negative behind and you need to apply some more effort to what's going on in your current situation and you're making travel plans. Strength is on your side. We do have uh, be warned of deception and lies and stop holding yourself back. Uh, one sign that jumps out for you is the Leo. The Leo is jumping out. All right, guys, don't overcomplicate things. Don't. Um, be warned of someone giving you false hope and someone that has just bad timing, some bad timing. You know, it happens to everyone, just bad timing. They may approach when you're not ready, okay? Planning an escape. Things in your love life are unpredictable, um, I think in a good way. So kind of expect the unexpected there as well. All right, gang. That's what I have for you. Now let's move into a collective for all of us. For this week, this is the 13th running up through the 20th of this month. What's going to happen? What do we need to know 
as a collective. As a collective, what do we need to know? You're being true to yourself. You're putting your foot down. You're taking authority. You can expect a new beginning. Wow, getting what you want is going to supersede your expectations. Okay? And you can expect a rival of new money. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you. You will also be making travel plans. There is a need to tell someone no. If you feel you're being taken advantage of, tell them no. Um, someone is being deceptive. Someone is lying to you. They're not being truthful. Don't hold yourself back when it comes to this person, even if it results in a confrontation. Okay? Move out of your comfort zone. Stand up for yourself. Now, the signs that may resonate. I got a Virgo and a Scorpio. You're in the era of a new beginning, and that new beginning is strong, powerful, and is right now. Someone close to you helping you. More than one blessing coming in. This looks great. And Aquarius may or may not play a role with you as well. Let's see what we have else for the um, collective. Someone wants your forgiveness. Looks like they've created a web of lies. Could be a sneaky snake that you're dealing with that shows that you're not going to make any hateful decisions. Okay. Takes two. Somebody's got to put in the effort. You're starting over, but things have come mundane or routine. And you may be bottled up and facing facts with someone that has a secret past or someone who has burnt you in the past before. You may be having your say. And like I said, if that goes down, it's because you provoked it. Hey, airing some things sometimes is good. You know, we all got to admit. That's what I have for you guys again. Join me on this challenge of the body, mind, and soul. Last week was the physical body. This week, it's the mind. It's the mindset. Let me hear from you guys. It is JackieTomlin.com. Don't forget to check out those Reiki specials. And if you're interested in certification, I absolutely want to talk to you. You guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.